Yo, what is up guys, my name is Hussein, also known as System Exploited, and in today's video, I'll be rooting a try hack me room called Brooklyn 99. So this room has two methods of gaining root, and I'll be demonstrating both methods. So let's start. So uh, this will be the first method. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start by conducting an in map scan by doing in map minus s v minus p minus p n and I'm gonna copy the IP address of the machine in here. Press enter. So let's just wait for this scan to finish. As you can see, guys, the scan has successfully finished. So we have three open ports port 21 for FT ftp port 22 for ssh port 80 for a web server so what i like to do i'm gonna start by enumerating the ftp port so let me do ftp let's see uh let's try the login in as anonymous as you can see we have successfully logged in to the ftp server so if we do a less Oh, as you can see, we get a txt file. So let's download this file to our host machine by doing git. And let me do exit. If you do clear ls cat note. And as you can see, this is the message we got. Jake, please change your password. It is too weak. And Holt will be mad if someone's hacks into the 99. So basically, if you think about it, uh, on this server, SSH is unlocked. So this means that uh, this might be a username for the SSH login. So what I'm gonna do is try and log in. SSH Jake at. Let's see. Yes. As you can see, there's a password and. Let's see, let's try and brute force this password by using a, a tool called Hydra. Let's brute force it. So now I'm using the rocky.txt to brute force the password for the Jake user. Let's see, let's just wait for this to finish. All right, as you can see guys, we have successfully brute forced the uh, password for the SSH username Jake. So. Let's SSH into this user. Let's paste the password we have just cracked. And as you can see, we have successfully logged in. So now, if we uh, if we do ls, who am I? We're the user Jake. Oh, let's try and find the user flag. So what I'm going to do is, I already know where the user flag is. So I'm going to do cd dot dot ls cd halt and cat user.txt all right guys so now i'm going to be elevating our privileges to root so what i'm going to do is do sudo minus l and as you can see we can run the less command as sudo so let's try and elevate our privileges i'll be using gtfo bins to help elevate our privileges oh as you can see we can run this command and we'll be root so let me do it and yeah who am i as you can see we are root already so if you do cat as you can see this is the root flag so we have successfully elevated our privileges by running this these commands that are found on the gitfo bins Alright guys, so now I'm going to be showing you the second method. Alright guys, so this will be the second method. So, as we previously saw, we got three open ports. So now let's enumerate the web server. So now, if you actually go in here. Oh, as you can see, we get a Brooklyn 99 cover. So let's try and check the source code. All right, so there's nothing really interesting, but this message right here is kind of interesting. So have you ever heard of steganography? Well, this might give an indication that this image might contain some important information that might be embedded into it. So what I'm going to do is download this image right now. All right, guys, I have downloaded it. So now if I do ls, I can see the image right here. So I'm going to be using a famous tool called stig hide. So I'm going to uh, do stig hide extract minus s 
F. And I'm going to be specifying that image right here. Oh, as you can see, this image is password protected. So let's try and brute force the password on the image. So I'm going to do control C. So I'm going to be using a, a good tool that is called Stig Cracker. Stig Cracker Brooklyn. All right. So this tool is going to use the rocku.txt by default, and it will try to brute force that protected image so let's just wait for it until it finish all right guys as you can see we have successfully cracked the protected image and it has a password of admin so what we could do is now extract it put admin as the password and we extracted the hidden message so if you do cat no oh uh no dot txt oh as you can see, Holt's password is FluffyDog12199. So the username is Holt, and that's the password. So what we could simply do is SSH Holt at, I'm going to copy the IP address in here, and we're going to put the password of Fluffy, and I'm going to paste it. Oh, as you can see, we are in. So now if we do a list, cat user .txt, this is our user flag. So now let's try and elevate our privileges by doing sudo minus l. Oh, as you can see, we can run nano as sudo. So like I said, gtfo bins is our friend. All right, I'm going to search nano and sudo. So if we scroll down a little bit, this seems uh, we can elevate our privileges by running these commands while running nano so what what we can do is do sudo all right and control r then control x to execute commands inside nano so let me do that and paste it in here press enter oh who am i as you can see, we spawned a shell inside nano. So if you do who am I, as you can see, we are root, cat root dot txt. And as you can see, this is our flag. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you on the next one.